<laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Oh yeah. Bit of a late start this morning, or well, this afternoon. It's, it's very early afternoon. Kind of slept in today, but I'm out at this ditch spot here that I've, uh, I've been to this spot before on my channel, if you guys had remembered. I skated this spot maybe in winter, but since then, they've been doing a lot of like construction and clearing over here, so most of the shrubbery is dead for one, because it's summertime and like they're clearing it out and making, I don't know what they're making here, but the ditch is kind of half cleaned already, so I'm gonna get it cleaned up and then get some skating done. It's a pretty cool spot. I mean, there isn't much run up from here you probably have like six meters, seven meters of run up from there to the bank. Old evening mob probably. But uh, yeah, fun little spot. Is this that little drain thing right in the middle there that you've got to dodge? But um, this would be cool if I came back here and like rub brick the lip there. Because you could definitely hit a grind or a slash grind or something on the way down. But uh, yeah, that's a plan for today. Got my Starbucks oat milk coffee. I've slowly started becoming a coffee drinker, it's really not a good thing. I'm going to start getting this spot cleaned up and I'm going to hit a little session in. Don't know how long I'll be skating over here for. There is some red curbs over by the high school I may hit up as well, just depending on how I feel after here. So yeah, that is the plan for the day. be really sick if I could like do a trick into this bank and then bomb the drain all the way to the end and since I've already like kind of cut back on all the stuff in here I reckon I could do it I just have to uh, make a pathway these rocks are kind of gnarly right here but yeah you got to uh, run the gauntlet here cruise through these rocks and then hopefully I can make a pathway all the way to the end there That'd be really cool. I think straight up I'm just gonna go for Kiki. No use in doing Ollie. I don't think anyway. Everybody knows I can Ollie. Wherever the road takes me, the road takes me. Whoa. <laughs> the ground is so rough. I miss popped. <laughs> I actually just took the trail down the drain here. Maybe I'll uh, I'll set the camera up down the back so you can see me. It's two minutes of me heavy breathing on the walk back. I think I'm gonna set up my long lens so you get a better shot of me coming down the drain. I really should have brought my GoPro to do this shit, but I didn't, so maybe next time I'm gonna kickflip in and then bomb the shit out of this drain. Each time I bomb this drain though, like <clears throat> all the rocks and twigs and dirt jump around, so each time you skate it, it gets sketchier. So hopefully this doesn't um, end up bad. Holy shit. Some dirt bike kids. Pop it up. <laughs> you. Hell yeah. Everyone's out here getting it. Oh, dust. I know the angles it shape from back there. It doesn't give this drain justice. So I'm just gonna put the camera a little bit closer for you guys so you can get the full experience that was fun though i feel like that will make a really cool clip but yeah i'm gonna set this bad boy up and then get some footy <laughs> kind of tweaked my ankle on that one but we'll keep it going my toes touch the ground my feet aren't even that big size 10 in vans like shouldn't be having this problem I'm making it worse for myself. I'm literally making it so much harder for myself because I'm not committing. All I have to do is scoop and jump. Oh, primo. 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 That sucked. This is so stupid. Oh dear. Finally. I honestly don't remember what just happened right now. I feel like I kind of blacked out, which is stupid, but 
Just had to bend my knees, commit. Have some confidence in myself. <laughs> have some confidence in myself. Imagine if I wasn't filming that whole time. I'd be so pissed. It's kind of hot today. Like it said it would be 30 degrees Celsius. So to you Americans, that's probably 89, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's warm, but it's not like super warm. I've been getting up early. Like I've literally been leaving the house at like 7.30 to go uh, hit that new Paragon skate park out in Paris. And uh, the morning sessions are great. I'll, pre I'll pretty much have a morning session, come home, edit a little bit, have some food, and I'll take like a nap, like an hour, hour and a half, and it feels like I have two days in one. Like I get up and then I have the whole rest of the day to like get stuff done. Early bird gets a whim. I, I feel like I'm definitely more of a morning person now. I like getting up early as opposed to like staying up super late. Cause like, I feel like when you stay up super duper late, it just sets you back the next day. It's like a sleep hangover per se. You don't get enough sleep, that kind of thing. And I really love having a good sleep. I feel like a good sleep is worth like, you can't really put a price on getting a good night's rest. There's a ledge right here. And pretty much goes into these rocks behind me and I kept like almost rolling my ankle backwards and I was like setting up to like do tricks into this bank right here oh it is warm out but it is a beautiful day and we are outside in the sunshine in the fresh air enjoying life enjoying skateboarding and uh enjoying you guys too thank you for uh tuning in I honestly feel like this spot was never skated prior to me I don't know I, I feel like definitely I probably was the first person to skate this spot, I reckon, because like, is this even a spot? It's kind of gnarly, the ground sucks, and uh, it's always overgrown with dirt and brush and rocks and glass and stuff. I've somewhat kind of made this a spot. There's another spot kind of close by here that's a jersey barrier, and I want to build it out. I hit up Zach Dowdy, so Dowdy might be down to come along and help. It's like a 12 foot long jersey barrier at the end of this, uh, Pretty much dead end road they want to build some transition up to so that's going to be fun i just got to get into home depot get the supplies get everything ready and get it done so that's going to be really exciting stay tuned for that build video good morning this is the next day i'm out here at this beautiful red curb here at this high school this red curb's really really nice it's super mellow and it's kind of beveled too you can't really see but it's kind of beveled super nice and user friendly and someone has left their bike here and it's like the last place you want to leave your bike unattended overnight so that just shows that we are in the last honest place in America oh shit I need to hang back got stuck oh she could probably do with some wax but I didn't bring any oh dear oh yeah she's getting dry I don't know who else has been skating here I haven't skated here in a long time but you can see where the paint is starting to chip up I'll have to bring wax next time Oh, my mic just died unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to raw dog it. And if I talk, I'm just gonna have to yell. That's what I get. That's what I get for going too slow, so you know. The saying is real, skate fast, just skate faster. <laughs> so this morning, my missus and I watched that Get Lost video to do with the SLS in Sydney. Pretty much showcased like Sydney City, the skate scene down there and like spots. But uh, my missus was asking me like, what if we go back? and then like you don't want to come back to America because you find that you love it so much in Sydney, in Australia and I was like, there's no way like I left there for a reason I prefer living in the United States over Australia like, there's so many more advantages here for somebody like me in America compared to in Australia but it did make me a little homesick and I obviously like miss Australia that's where I was born and raised but um, it was also really cool to see the progression of like the scene in Oz, like we've always we've always had a pretty good skate scene in Sydney, and um, just now it's like starting to come to light. Like they had SLS in Sydney again, and there's so many more parks and stuff popping up. And I feel like skateboarding in Australia is beginning to become something 
Because when you're young, when I was younger, skating in Australia was like, oh, you little skater fag, just at the skate park, hanging out, wasting your life. And now I feel like parents and stuff are finally starting to see that skateboarding is like a real thing. Like that young, that young Aussie girl, what's her name? Chloe the Flow. Chloe the Flow, I could be saying that wrong. She won SLS back to back in Sydney. So it's just, it's just amazing to see because it's bringing more attention to skateboarding, which is great. It feels like it's all starting to pick up down there kind of thing apart from like an underground level obviously if you're from oz you know sydney is the mecca of skateboarding down there so it's starting to like pick up on a worldwide scale is what i'm trying to say pretty much my whole relationship with rachel she has never had a cheese burger ever she's never had like a cheeseburger she has this weird thing with textures and she doesn't eat food correctly like for the longest time She'd get a Jersey Mike sandwich and tear it into little pieces like a little pigeon and then she'd eat it like that. She's just started eating her sandwiches like a normal person. So I've actually just bought her first cheeseburger from In-N-Out tonight and she's about to take the first bite. So you got water if you want to, you know, but she eats beef. You eat beef, right? Yeah. So it shouldn't be any different. What are you doing? I'm just looking at the inside of her. It's not a newspaper. Sauce. There's nothing to look at. Take a bite. I feel like I'm. Should I rip it in half? So oh no! Bit? You should okay. just eat it. Okay. This is your first. You're 28 years old, and this is your first. Let me follow it up with some fries. Ever cheeseburger. How is it so far, though? It's good, isn't it? It's pretty good, right? <laughs> so you've broken that fear of eating a cheeseburger now. I think it might take one more. So now that you've eaten your first cheeseburger in your life, 28 years, you'd think she's a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon or something, but she's not. She's just a picky eater. Would you get one again? What do you rate it out of 10? What do you rate it out of 10? Like a seven, seven and a half, maybe seven and a half. Eight. That's not bad on the scale. This is an eight, my grilled cheese. Mm. But the cheeseburger. Tell me about the cheeseburger. What no, about the, the cheeseburger? Cheese, the cheeseburger is not bad. Honestly, it tastes it tastes good. Finally, I like the combination Check of the meat hand. with the cheese and the you know salt and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You bought it for me. Oh, you said that already. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. If you guys have been on my channel for a bit you know what to do check out eveningmob.com got some cool stuff on the way and yeah cheers for tuning in thank you for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one Red, i want you to go to his house blow that joint up don't let nobody out oh get trigger man bring him to me because i'm tired of this trigger man stuff in tennessee now all the time while this stuff is going on i called up another roadie on my flip phone I want you to call down to Texas A special order me a make name through a Lexi Take them windows on the junk